Hey, 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 family, it's your girl Evelyn, and I'm back with another video. And this is part two of my Sephora haul. So the video that you just saw the other day was at the very, very beginning of the Sephora haul. Like I think I went and shopped on the first day and I'm filming this on the last day of the Sephora haul. So today is Monday. Uh, hopefully you're seeing this by Tuesday, Wednesday at the latest. And uh, listen, I'd love to know if you participated in the sale, what you got, things like that. So I wanna share with you the things that I ordered online. They came in the mail over the weekend. Um, and y'all, and then I said I wasn't gonna go into the store again, but what did I do? I watched some more YouTube videos and I'm, I'm gonna talk about what I saw and what I ended up getting as a result. What I, influence. And this is why companies need to realize just because somebody doesn't necessarily see something, like they don't click your link necessarily, they have still been influenced though because I took myself into the store. Two stores as a matter of fact. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get into it to get what I saw. So let me grab the box of things that I ordered. So ordered some uh products through the app and let's let's just get into some of the things also i'm filming this i'm ready to put this stuff up okay so i replaced my gucci mattifying primer so mm -hmm. i currently this is the bottle that i currently have and it is at the bottom let me say this could I purchase a cheaper primer? Yes. Do I love the Danessa Myricks Blurring Balm Powder? I do. I use this underneath that because I have oily skin. I live in Texas. As I'm filming this today, Texas kind of told us that we was going to be in fall winter and it's going to be 80 degrees outside. So, and it's like November the 6th. Okay. So anyway, um, let me show you what it looks like when it is full. This is the Gucci primer. It is pricey, which is why I get it during the sale, okay? Uh, and I probably will only ever purchase it <laughs> during the sale, but I picked up another one of those because I was running out. And um, I bought that last year. So a little over a year plus, I mean, I have other primers too, so that's probably why. I also picked up um, the Pharmacy Strawberry Shortcake Clean Cleansing Balm. So you guys know I bought the Trio and then this is the standard size. This is also a limited edition scent. I don't think this one was as popular because I remember when this came out and typically, you know, their limited edition scents don't last long. But I was like, you know, let me grab this because again, I'm not a fan of the original scent, but I am a fan, fan of the cleansing balm. And I think this might be, yeah, like it's a light pink. I don't know if you can see that. Ooh, it felt, it smells like... So do you remember, <laughs> I don't know if you had the kind of dolls growing up that had like the um, the food that you could mix together and feed them. This smells like that. This is probably why this didn't sell, but I still enjoy this smell over the original. And the original is not bad. Like, I don't know why I just am not a fan of it. I also picked up two foundations. And I'm not sure if you know this, but the Sephora collection or Sephora, the company is owned by LVMH, the same company that was like Louis Vuitton and a lot of luxury brands. And I find that the Sephora collection, even though they're lower in price point, like they're giving me some good stuff. So they had some foundations that were on sale in the app and that had great ratings but when i talked to one of the sales associates or she wasn't even a sales associate she was like a regional rep that was in the store she was saying that sephora had like 1100 SKUs, and they were trying to really reduce things and then they were coming out with new things so a lot of stuff was on clearance so i picked up the sephora 10 hour wear um foundation in two shades now on the app <laughs> these were eight dollars i think they were regularly 22 and then to get 80 i mean then to get 30 percent off of eight dollars so what is that 80 160 240 so i paid like five dollars and some change for these i mean like that's better than drugstore prices i should have got more than one bottle but anyway i got two different shades i got the shade six 65.5 and then I got the shade um 68 both of these 
Uh, so one is called chestnut and one is called brownie. Both of these have neutral undertones because that is my undertone. Um, I actually have this shade on on top of the Danessa Myricks Blurring Balm Powder in shade 10. And it is a great shade match for me right now. This one will probably be better for me in the summer. It has a natural finish, so it's not a matte finish, but I do what I need to do to get a matte finish. I can go all the way down to natural finish. I just can't slide into dewy finish. Like I can't, like if it starts saying radiant and dewy and luminous, it's not a thing for me. But like really nice packaging, um, you know, a really nice pump really nice shade selection she said they're you know they're coming out with some new things that's why they're coming out with like the new eye pencils that i showed in my previous haul but to get foundation for five dollars even if you like even if you don't get it during the sale like if you can get this and you like it you've only spent eight dollars and i don't even think drugstore foundations are running at this price point and i've kind of concluded in my mind that sephora collection is kind of like my drugstore right because i recently when I think I don't know if I put this in the last video, but I recently went to um, purchase some drugstore makeup, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I was watching this video and this girl had these lippies and they look so pretty. And all three of these lippies like made my lips react like my lips were peeling for a week. And I was like, the only thing that I've done differently was try these lip products on. So picked up both of these. If it's still available, I will link it down below. Um, I also picked up a House Labs blush. Um, ooh, come on with my nails. So this is in the shade Lavender Blonde. This was limited edition, and I knew that it was probably going to um, sell out during the sale, and I think it has. I think when I last looked on the app, it sold out. But I realized, I was like, sometimes I do purple-ish looks, and I was like, I need a blush I mean, the packaging is just so luxe and stunning. Um, I need a blush that will go with that. Look at this blush. Believe it or not, this blush actually looks really good on me. I've already worn it. It's it like I definitely need to like set it with a setting spray so does so it doesn't look like it's sitting on top of my skin. But the color is fantastic. Like I have this is a beauty bakery blush that's kind of purple-ish right and if i were to compare the two okay you can see it's not the same and then i have this um zoeva palette um uh like a, a trio of blush that i've had for a couple of years and i will say this this middle shade is the middle shade is probably the closest let me show you i don't even i think i got this at like home goods once i didn't even know about the brand Zoeva or Zoeva. And these are fairly similar. I mean, right? This one just seems a little cooler tone. Like this is a cool, this is cool tone, but this seems a little cooler. Um, I'm not gonna swatch them because I'm just not. But because blushes in a swatch, I feel like you just like you don't really get the gist of it. Well, I will swatch lavender blonde for you so you can see it. Um, this was a limited edition shade, and I like this formula. I have one of the blushes. I have two highlighters from um, House Labs. So that is, I don't know if you can see, that is the color. Okay, and then I'll just swatch it on the back of my hand. See, I think it, yeah, it, it's not doing any justice, but if you can see the color that's left behind, it's so pretty. Anyway, I also... I don't have it on today, but the, the, the two highlighters that I wear are from House Labs because they're two dark brown highlighters. Okay. And then from my online order, I also picked up a La Mer set. Now, listen, I know. Let me tell you what's funny. Okay. Let me tell you before I, tell, before I show you what's in the set. So I go in the store. Um... And I was like, I don't not sure what holiday sets they were going to have in there, but I was pretty sure they weren't going to have the Lemaire, right? And so this lady was like, you know, what are you looking for? And I was, you know, you know, one of the sales associates, and this was on the first day of the sale. And I was like, I got a cart full of stuff or whatever. And she was like, don't buy that Lemaire. She was like, I can show you something cheaper um, that's this, this, that, and a third or whatever. And it's interesting because I, I talk to my clients about this all the time, that they're 
is a certain population, a certain segment of the population where price is not our determining factor. It may be a factor, but it's not a determining factor. And I will say this, I I kept using my points every time I could on Sephora to get if so if 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 Lemaire was having like a 500 point sample I was getting it and I was like scraping to the bottom of it right and I I told myself after the last set I was like when the sale comes up I'm gonna treat myself to almost like a little starter kit just so I can always have some Lemaire on hand I I enjoy it some people think it's overrated but when I can tell you anytime that I felt like a blemish coming or my fit my skin just was feeling e. Eh, La Mer, I, I will put no matter what I was using the next day, the issue will be gone. So I picked up the replenishing moisture collection. It almost really didn't matter what it was, right? I've already opened this up, but this is the box that it comes in. Um, and this was this was a splurge for sure. So um, these are really good sizes because La Mer is not something that I use every day, particularly like the moisturizer. Very, very rich. I have oily skin. And so while I can use this, I don't need to use it every day. Okay. So um, I've got the treatment lotion. This is the eye concentrate. This is the moisturizing cream. And this is the hydrating infused emulsion, right? And... Um, I'm going to pull these out of here so you can see the size. So this is the treatment lotion. I have had like a itty bitty itty bitty sample of this before. Um, and then let me pull out the eye cream. I love this eye cream and a little bit goes a long way. So there's the eye cream. And ooh, if I can get this out. Y'all, this in here really good. Okay, let me... This is the hydrating infused emulsion. This one, this product is not something that I have used before, right? So let me, oh, it's a pump. Okay. This is, I don't smell anything. You know, La Mer is not something where I'm just about to be pumping it out on my hand in a video. <laughs> Anytime I pump it out, baby, it's going on my face, neck, and decolletage. Okay. And then uh, if I can get the cream out, y'all, when I tell you this thing is in here okay oh. okay oh this is a nice size container so moisturizing cream i've used this before so nice and la mer gives me like very classic old school like the fragrance on it just very light spa like all that kind of stuff okay so that is what I placed the, when I got home for day one of the sale because, um, you know, obviously these, these products weren't in store. Things were crashing. I picked up two fragrance samples. I Fragrance samples are just kind of my go-to when it comes to um, Sephora because, one, I feel like I can get more use out of them than I can get out of like a face cream or something like that. And then it gives me an opportunity to test that new finger. So I got Spice Bomb by Victor Rolf. And then I got Skylar Clean Beauty Coconut Co. So I have this drawer in my closet, like this little acrylic drawer that is like filled to the brim with lots of fragrance samples. And it allows me to have some variety, try fragrances that I, I know I'm not ever going to commit to a full bottle or even a travel size. Um, and go from there. So that is what I ordered. Now let's get into what I ended up picking up. What's today? Monday? Yesterday. So let me let me, let me get a story before I before I dive into this bag here. So what am I doing? I'm minding my magical business. Okay, chilling on Sunday. Yes, Sunday. Watching maybe it was Saturday morning. Either way, watching some YouTube videos. And I like to see what other people get in the sale. So I'm watching a video. And I think I watched two videos and, and somebody pulls out this foundation brush. Now, I haven't talked about this much, but I have been on a hunt for a foundation brush that I enjoy. Okay. And I have a couple of foundation brushes and I just, I, I use them because I need them and I have them, but I don't like them. And I wanted something nice, but not overly expensive. I didn't want to use natural hair, a uh, natural hair brush because I use liquid foundations. 
it's just been a whole thing, right? And I like my brushes to match, right? So right now I've got like BK Beauty brushes in that colorway. And then I've got like Sephora collection brushes, right? And I really enjoy my Sephora collection brushes almost more at least the face brush. the face brushes i enjoy more than my bk beauty brushes the eye brushes from bk beauty i enjoy more so i saw a couple of brushes and realized that sephora has dropped some new foundation brushes and i was like why didn't nobody tell me so i'm thinking oh, okay i got a couple of things in my basket on my on the app it's on the sephora app you know i'll just order those and go from there and then I was like mm, let me go in store to you know to feel these brushes to see them to see if I like it because you know if you go in Sephora they've got the brushes out you know the heads and you can feel them and I was like "Ooh!" now two of the brushes that I wanted were sold out in store and online okay two of the brushes were available online they were sold out in store and so I went in the app and I was like, I wonder if there's another location because obviously they still have the collection for me to like, you know, feel and touch or whatever. And I noticed when it was like, you know, pick another location, like every Sephora inside of Kohl's had them in stock. And I was like, and so there was one that was about four miles away from where I was at. And I was like, you know what? I don't even have to wait on the shipping because I knew. I, and also I knew I wanted to film this video. And I was like, if I can get them and then I can just film my Sephora second haul will be done. So technically my, my part two haul should have ended with what I just showed you. But I bought some brushes and I also bought. Um, I, well, let me start this. I bought the Lancome lash eye doll and primer set here's the thing this was actually in my cart on ulta okay because i have some points on ulta and i was like oh i can get some money off that's a little bit better than the sale but then there's this bronzer that i want to get on ulta and so i was like it's six one half dozen the other so i went ahead and got it on sale um at sephora because in the wash it actually is going to end up i'm going to get more money off total by buying this in the sale right so i actually just want the prime i just wanted the primer i have not tried the eye, eye doll um or the lash i the lash eye doll mascara but i was like the the primer by itself is like 30 some bucks okay and this was 35 for the set so i was like boom let me just get them both together so here is the primer this is my first time having a full size of the primer but i've tried the estee lauder primer i've tried the chanel primer uh in samples and things like that this is the one and like I don't even have on primer today and I can tell the difference right and so I was like mm, getting that and then it's also a full size mascara so I was like this is a great deal so $35 when this is like 32 or 30 or something like that and then with the 20% off I said perfect so picked that up and then I picked up the brushes okay so there were four brushes <laughs> Four Sephora Pro Collection brushes that I wanted to pick up. And I'm going to start with the brush that caught my attention, which is brush number 64. This is the Pro Foundation Brush. Look at this. It's a domed foundation brush, but it's giving... Remember Kabuki brushes back in the day or flat, type, flat top brushes? That's what this was giving. It was like giving a domed flat top appearance. Look at this this look at this i want you to see i was like yeah that's so let me sh compare it to the picture right i mean that is an accurate representation okay so foundation brush number one this is number 64 okay these are 30% off. So these brushes are normally $30 each, 30% off, okay? The second foundation brush that I was like, wait a minute, was number 60, okay? I used to love a flat top foundation brush back in the day. And so... um I had, let me tell you, I actually own a Sephora flat top brush. Let me see, where is it? Cause 
and I when I tell you I never use it so I own this is number 70 it's so stiff and dense like I, I just don't love it so it it stays clean okay this one 60 there's a little bit of splay right and I was like oh yes let me let me, let me do this one too right do you see the right and so same with this there's a little bit of splay this one i want to show you this there's no and this one the handle is coming off i don't know what's going on anyway so this is number 60 so both of these are two new foundation brushes for me i feel like i'm going to enjoy both of these equally and so i'm super super excited about it. like i'm so excited about it i almost bought two of each and i was like evelyn you're doing your team too much team too much okay and then the, the last two brushes I picked up, um, one is a bronzer brush. And I have a bronzer brush from Sephora collection that I like. This is number 88. Okay. It's so funny because it kind of looks like the foundation brush. But it's a little tighter. So it's domed. So let me, let me show you. They look very similar. This is the foundation brush. Okay. So it's actually more narrow. This is the foundation brush. This is the bronzer. So this is more densely packed. This is more loose. This is smaller. This is wider at the ferrule. Okay. They're the same length though. Okay. And I was like, I that Pat McGrath bronzer that I have requires a more dense brush. And I was like this right in the cheek. But if I wanted to... I could use it for foundation. You see that? This is the foundation brush. Look at this one. So, picked up that bronzer brush. And then, last but certainly not least, I don't even know what I'm gonna use this brush for. This says this is a highlighter brush. I would use this for under eye concealer. Cause I don't want this much of a concentration for highlighter. But look at the shape of the brush. Look at this. Okay. To dab my concealer out. Now, I will say I could also use this for powder. But yes, you could also use this for highlight. If you wanted a really tight contour situation, this is brush number 90. Okay. And so it kind of, it comes in at the ferrule. It's kind of rounded there while like, while like this is like straight flat. So is this, so is the other one. I just had four brushes. Oh, here we go. So if you can, if you can kind of see how this one is like curved right here and these kind of come straight up the sides, but just having a brush this size for the face, I currently do not have. And so, yeah, I could do a little bit of pinpointed highlighter. I can do it under the eye if I wanted to. And I just wanted to do like a one and done cream shadow. I could do that. But these are the four Sephora brushes that I picked up. I'm super, super excited about all four. Yes, I was driving around looking for these doggone brushes on Sunday after I said I wasn't going to be spending more of the sale. So that is my haul. Let me know what you thought. Do you like hauls? I love hauls. Okay, and um, let me know what you picked up in the Sephora sale. If you didn't, I decided against the Patrick's Hall palette because I, when I was back in the store, I swatched it and it just looked chalky. And I was like, Evelyn, you're not going to do it. And with the Groundwork palette, um, which I have some of the Groundwork palette on my eyes today, but then I have a little bit for the sparkle. I have a little bit of Natasha Denona on. And the Groundwork palette, <sighs> I wish I hadn't used it because I it might have to go back. I don't know if it's deep enough for me. But anyway, I'm excited about everything else. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you got what you wanted from the Sephora sale and that you were enjoying your new makeup and skincare and beauty goodies. And I will see you in my next video. Peace.